Hey guys, Butler Bulldog Bill here, and first of all, I just want to apologize because it has been a long freaking time since I last posted a video. Um, <clears throat> I think it's been a little over two weeks. Um, some crap came up, um, family issues. Um, my great grandma a couple weeks ago ended up uh, in the hospital, and they didn't give her much time to uh, live and just a few days later she uh, she uh, ended up passing away um, last Tuesday uh, was her viewing and last Wednesday was her funeral we spent all that time you know with fixing it all up all the uh, preparations that go with that um, we stayed with my grandpa you know, it was his mom so stay with him for a little while to see <clears throat> make sure that he was doing okay since he was his he was her uh, primary caregiver but anyway um, five games have gone on since I last posted a video and I almost decided I wasn't gonna post any more videos about Butler because of the fact that they're on their longest winning streak of the season they've won all five games since I stopped you know posting videos recapping um, but Ultimately, I felt like I'd be letting you guys down if I did not um, keep you informed. A lot of you do not have the channel to be able to watch Butler. Um, here in Indiana, we have uh, My Network TV, uh, Channel 23 out of Indianapolis that shows uh, Butler basketball games. And most of the time, uh, ESPNU also shows several. Uh, but anyway, I was able to watch, even with the death going on with all the other things going on I was still able to watch some of the games and if I didn't get to watch them live I taped them and watched them later so basically we left off um, Butler had just lost to Detroit uh, they were 13 and 12 things weren't looking good uh, they were four and six in the conference or, I'm sorry they were seven and six in the conference but anyway um, but their next game was on February 9th, which was 13 days ago, so that would be a Thursday night. They played at Youngstown State, and Youngstown State was a team that was, at, at the time, they were at the top three or four teams in the Horizon League. And Butler had actually beaten them earlier in the season at home, you know, by double digits. Uh, so it was definitely going to be a big game for them to go on the road, a place, you know, Butler had just been struggling all season, so go and play at Youngstown State and try to pull off a win would be huge. And that's exactly what I actually happened. Um, they went into Youngstown, Ohio. Um, they won the game 68-59. to They jumped out to an early lead and they never relented. Uh, Youngstown State actually cut the lead, or cut Butler's lead to six uh, with about six minutes to go. Uh, but Butler, you know, they never relented. They never gave up. Krishan Hopkins uh, led the team with 19 points, and it was because of him that they would uh, did not lose that game. When Youngstown State cut the lead to six, um, Hopkins scored eight straight points to put uh, Butler back up by 12, and that helped seal the win right there. Krishan Hopkins is a sophomore, and um, he's definitely a really good player, has a great future with the team, so much potential. And I can't wait to see what happens once he gets older. But anyway, uh, Krishan Hopkins had 19 points. Point guard Ronald Norred with 11 rebounds. This guy's been killing it on rebounds this year. Pretty crazy, you know, considering his uh, height disadvantage and position disadvantage. Um, Jackson Aldridge, sophomore, came off the bench to uh, score 15 points. For Butler, um, and Roosevelt Jones, the fabulous freshman, came off the bench to score 11 points. Uh, Butler shot 44.4% from the field, so it was a great shooting night, you know, considering the struggles that they've had at the offensive end, particularly shooting. And, um, you know, they just did a great job of making sure that they did not uh, let their guard down on the road, and they needed this win. They needed to get back. The goal is to get in the top two in the Horizon League so that you can get at the double bye. That way you only have to win two games uh, to win the Horizon League tournament rather than the four that the bottom eight have to, you know, 
do. So, good first step, good road win, and it completed the sweep of Youngstown State. The Fighting Penguins swept them this season. And um, so moving on uh, to the next game, which was Cleveland State, and I will recap that one in the next video. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.